Good day. The intent of this video is to provide suppliers with information on how to do business with the Western Cape government. Before one decides to tender for government contracts, it is important that each supplier intending to do business with government understands the legal framework that must be adhered to when tendering. The Constitution of South Africa under Section 217 provides for the five pillars of procurement, which requires that when government procures, it must do so fairly, equitably, transparently, competitively and cost effectively. There are also various other sets of national legislation that prescribe procurement requirements, and these include, amongst others, the Public Finance Management Act, the Municipal Finance Management Act, the Preferential Procurement Policy Framework Act, and the Broad-Based Black Economic Empowerment Act, and the Construction Industry Development Board Act, and supporting regulations for each act. Public procurement is understood and accepted as being a lever for change in respect of government policy, and is driven by two objectives, with its primary objective being service delivery, and its secondary objective being the improvement of socioeconomic objectives. Hence, to achieve value for money in government via its procurement, all procurement must be purchased at the right time, at the right price, at the right place, and for the right value. This must be underpinned by effective, efficient, and economic service delivery that balances equity considerations. What are the requirements to do business with the Western Cape government? Suppliers must be registered on the National Central Supplier Database as well as the Western Cape Supplier Evidence Bank. This will allow suppliers to also respond to quotations via the e-procurement solution. Suppliers will need to be tax compliant as well as provide government with its triple BEE affidavit or certificate. The compulsory bid document WCBD4, which is a declaration that the bidder has no conflict of interest or has disclosed any conflict of interest that it may have, including disclosure of past procurement performance and declaring that it has submitted and put its bid together independently of any collusive practices. It is also required for construction tenders that bidders register on the Construction Industry Development Board. Bidders must make sure that they are also adherent to all industry-specific requirements where applicable, including adherence to any special conditions, bid specification requirements, and functionality criteria as applicable. Bidders must ensure that they also understand the specific bidding processes. With any organ of state in the Republic of South Africa, suppliers must first register on the National Central Supplier Database, also referred to as the CSD. The CSD is a self-registration portal that can be accessed via www csd.gov.za. After registration, suppliers need to log in and capture their business information. Once their business information has been successfully captured, a supplier number beginning with MAAA will be generated. Registration on the CSD is compulsory as the CSD is the primary database for all organs of state. Once a supplier has registered on the CSD, it will be eligible to register on the Western Cape Supplier Evidence Bank, also referred to as the WCSEB. The WCSEB utilizes the CSD as the master database of information that feeds into the WCSEB. The WCSEB houses compulsory governance documents and serves as a central repository of information. This then forms the basis or entry point to 
to all Western Cape government tender processes. Frequently asked questions can be found on our website with answers to possible questions suppliers may have regarding database registration. The WCSEB registration documents can be found on the Provincial Treasury's website, or alternatively, physical documentation can be collected from the Procurement Client Center. So why register on these databases and engage in the Western Cape Government's e-procurement solution? The databases ensure that the Western Cape Government deals with compliance suppliers who abide by the law and procurement rules, and that such compliance is backed up by the evidence that supports the decisions made. The e-procurement solution provides opportunities to a wider spectrum of suppliers, stimulating competition, automating and streamlining procurement processes, thereby ensuring ease of doing business with the Western Cape Government affording better transparency and accountability, and assisting suppliers to tender. For procuring institutions, the system ensures better compliance to legislation, improved productivity, reduces paperwork and administrative costs, and ensures that government works with the latest and verified suppliers. It also provides mechanisms to easily detect tender irregularities fraud and collusion between suppliers and officials, and ensures the accurate management of information that provides for an audit trail of all transactions that are dealt with via the system. The EPS provides tender opportunities for below a threshold value of 1 million rands, which are advertised to suppliers via the system. Suppliers are encouraged to grasp these opportunities, and they can do this by registering on the databases as indicated, but must also ensure that they select the correct commodities for which they can provide the requested goods and services. Ensure that as an interested supplier, that you take note of these requirements. The Western Cape government also assists you to register on the CSD and the Western Cape SEB to enable suppliers to receive RFQs via the EPS. Our assistance can be accessed telephonically, via email, or face-to-face -face at the Procurement Client Center. A video on how to register may be accessed via the link provided on the screen. Important issues that suppliers must note when tendering with government. Read all documents carefully and submit all requested information. Information submitted must also be complete. Make sure that all supporting documents are signed and attached to your bid. Make sure that you cost your offer properly and have included all associated costing in your bid price. If you are ever in doubt as to what is required, please contact the supply chain management units or contact persons cited in the bid documents for clarity. Ensure that your bid complies with the bid validity period and that you can meet all the requirements within the specified timeframes. Also make sure that you will be able to honor the contractual requirements. Bids must be dropped in the identified bid boxes of procuring institutions, and the onus is on the supplier that its bid is deposited in the correct bid box. Note, late bids and bids dropped over the counter will not be accepted. When submitting RFQs via the EPS, ensure that timelines are adhered to and all supporting documents are attached. Do not forget to press the submit button when you are ready and satisfied yourself that all information is correct. 
some important points for suppliers to bear in mind is that suppliers need to understand the South African market and the evolving or emerging needs. Why certain processes are necessary in government procurement, bidding processes and its associated rules, the importance of compliance and responsiveness to bids, readiness of the supplier's business to meet the specific tender requirements, how to enhance prospects of success, accessing tender opportunities and engaging in meaningful competition and finding ways to progressively up one's game. It is also important to understand who to talk to and when to talk to them. Common offences that are encountered with suppliers in government tender processes. Fairness and fair dealings is critical to any procurement process and corruption within the South African context is an evil that as a government we want to get rid of as well as detect. The legislation governing this is the Prevention and Combating Corrupt Activities Act which for any violation may impose an imprisonment of 28 years or imprisonment for life. Listing on the National Treasury tender defaulters and restricted supplier lists may also be affected. At a contract level, this may also result in contracts being terminated. In terms of the Criminal Law Amendment Act, the penalty for fraud, theft or forgery has a minimum sentence of 15 years. Fraud may be defined as misrepresentation or providing false information with the intent to deceive and having actual or potential prejudice to another. Examples of fraud within the procurement space may be related to an application for registration on the supplier database misrepresenting relations or connection with municipal or departmental officials, misrepresenting your triple BEE status in tender documents or submitting fraudulent or fake documentation, misrepresenting work done and submitting an invoice for payment. Examples of withholding information may constitute failure to disclose a relationship with an official, failure to disclose a share in bidding entity by an official, collusion with the official, bid rigging, cover quoting or manipulation of tender processes. Suppliers must never put themselves in a position where they may be involved in criminal activity when dealing with public procurement processes. Dispute mechanisms for procurement processes. Persons aggrieved by decisions or actions taken in tender processes in the implementation of supply chain management policies and system at both municipal and provincial level may lodge a written objection or complaint against a decision or action taken to both departments and municipalities directly. In both instances, where objections are not satisfactorily resolved, the provincial and or national treasury may be approached to act as mediator. This, however, does not exclude the bidder's right to approach a competent court of law to decide on the matter. The Western Cape Government's Procurement Client Centre, or PCC. The Procurement Client Centre has been put in place to assist departments, municipalities and suppliers with procurement know-how. It is aimed at building capability for value-add purchasing as well as capacitation and development of technical procurement skill. It also focuses on technology enablement. The range of services provided include technology services like the EPS and the Western Cape Evidence Bank, a service desk that manages queries, provides assistance and guidance, complaints handling, and offers redress and mediation, and service information management that focuses on information management to the public, including perception surveys on supplier experience or services rendered. Please find our contact details on the screen. This includes the physical address and the email address as well as the telephone number.
The visual indicated here represents a list of Western Cape government institutions. I thank you for watching and we hope that you found this information useful.